Wednesday is gonna be an important day to understand whether Bayern will bid again for Kane or not. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Lamano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Harry Kane, Joao Felix, Kylian Mbappé, but also new here we go for Chelsea, new here we go for Arsenal, and Renato Sanchez. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start with the uh, here we goes of the day, because David Raya is new Arsenal goalkeeper. I told you of this important news. Total package, add-ons included, around 30 million pounds. Again, add-ons included. Some of these add-ons are difficult, so a very good deal for both sides. Brentford, because they wanted to sell the player after they already have Fleck and his new goalkeeper, for the goalkeeper, because uh, Raya wanted to join only Arsenal this summer, despite the interest of Bayern, and for Arsenal, because they signed an excellent goalkeeper for very good price. So... Raya will undergo medical tests later this week and he will become new Arsenal goalkeeper. David Washington, 2005, 18 years old, striker from Santos to Chelsea. Here we go. The deal is done for 15 million euros plus five in add-ons. Chelsea already signed Angelo Gabriel from Santos for 15 million euros. They sent him on loan to Strasbourg. David Washington joins Chelsea immediately, but Chelsea will decide later in the next days whether they want to send him to Strasbourg or keep the player at the club because they know they are in emergency after the injury of Christopher Kunku, who will be out for the next three months. So Chelsea are discussing about this, but meanwhile they are signing one of the best talents in South America with uh, David Washington. And also I wanted to update on Renato Sanchez, because he could be one of the big opportunities on the market in the final weeks of the transfer window. Roma sent a loan with buy option, not mandatory proposal to Paris Saint-Germain. PSG would only sell the player on permanent transfer, loan with mandatory buy option. So let's see what's going to happen. The conversation is ongoing. Mourinho is pushing a lot to have Renato Sanchez, but big opportunity opportunity on the market, Renato, at this condition. So let's follow that story. And let's follow three of the biggest stories on the market with Kane, Joao Felix and Mbappé. For Kylian Mbappé, what I can confirm today that after, in the recent days, Mbappé said no to the final desperate proposal from Paris Saint-Germain. It was sign a new contract and let's include a buyout clause, a guaranteed sale for summer 2024 so you can pick your favorite club and leave next summer as you want. Mbappé said no again and so PSG will keep the player out of the first squad, training with the player who are out of the project and so he's not with the squad of Luis Enrique. That's the position of Paris Saint-Germain. Since Monday and this will remain at least for this week. So PSG are very strong on their position and they keep believing that Mbappé has an agreement with Real Madrid for summer 2024. That's the feeling that is driving PSG crazy and also Nasser al Khelaifi is furious with this feeling they have at the club. So let's see how that will evolve. We wait for Real Madrid to make a move for Mbappé. Let's see if it's going to be this summer or next summer, but for sure, crucial weeks for Mbappé are coming. And then, guys, for Harry Kane, crucial week in this case, this week, because Harry Kane's camp communicated to both Tottenham and Bayer that they want the deal to be decided this week. Harry Kane's preference is not to leave after the first game in the Premier League this season. Tottenham play on Sunday, so the expectation is to get the deal done by Friday or Saturday. Otherwise, the deal would collapse. That's the preference of Harry Kane, communicated to both clubs. Let's see what happens. Bayern had internal talk today to discuss again about the Harry Kane case, and some sources believe that they will be the game for Harry Kane. So that's the feeling internally at Bayern. We wait for a final confirmation, but Wednesday is going to be an important day to understand whether Bayern will bid again for Kane or not. Some sources into the club believe that new bid will be made to try one last time to sign Harry Kane. So it will depend on Bayern and on Daniel Levy, absolutely, with the timing now being crucial because the player wants to make the move this week or potentially next summer. So that's the game position. And let me finish with Joao Felix, because I'm told that Halilal have contacted Atletico Madrid over loan deal, because for the player, the only option to go to Halilal this summer is on loan and then return to Europe in summer 2024. The answer received by Atletico Madrid today, around 8, 9 of August, they are saying no. Let's see what happens later in the window. We know that in August many conditions of the deal could change, but as of today, Atletico Madrid don't want to give the player on loan to Alilal. 
only permanent transfer. Joao is not happy with that kind of solution. He wants a loan deal, potentially, to accept Saudi. And so the situation at the moment is like this. Let's see how Walilal will insist. Jorge Jesus, the manager of Walilal, is calling Joao Felix every day, trying to push with the player side. But the formula of the deal is crucial. And Atletico are not, at the moment, accepting any loan. Meanwhile, the player is still dreaming of Barcelona or European clubs as priority. Otherwise, Saudi could be an option, but at the moment his focus is on Barca Dream and Europe, depending on Atletico Madrid final decision on the formula. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Joao Felix, Mbappé, Kane, David Raya, David Washington, many things happening and keep an eye on Renato Sanchez. As always guys, like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!